Now, this afternoon, there was a confrontation between the youth of La and some armed military men over a parcel of land at Airport Hills. Take a look at these videos. Now, the La youth, led by the paramount chief uh, priest of La, Numo Yemo Obloni the Seventh, say the lands were released to them by government last month after decades of government control. But even before they begin taking possession, they say officers from the Ghana Armed Forces laid claims are laying claims to the land. Our visit to the area uh, saw the two sides present and arguing over ownership of the 250-acre parcel of land. The portion of the land was already being developed by some Chinese contractors who are believed to have acquired the land through the Ghana Armed Forces. I have here in studio, and by the way, we'll be, we're, we've been making attempts to reach the uh, Ghana Armed Forces for their side of this particular story. But I do have representatives of the La Youth uh, here in the studio. Jeffrey Tete is a secretary and the spokesperson for the Coalition of La Association. Um, Jeffrey, you're welcome. You. I also have here Ni Amwa Okromasa, the first who's a chairperson, also joining us uh, in studio. Gentlemen, you're welcome. Thank Let me you. start with you, Jeffrey. Um, how do we know uh, or what, what is the evidence to prove that government actually released the land uh, to you and to your people? Okay, so after, thank you very much. After several years of demanding that the lands uh, get released to the La people, the chiefs and people of La, uh, there was um, a tripartite committee that was formed by the lands minister involving the lands ministry, the La Traditional Council, and the high command of the Ghana Armed Forces. Now, the final verdict was given by the minister under the presidency on the 27th of November 2020, at which meeting, uh, the military high command had representation and the two people who represented the military high command at that very meeting were Brigadier General B. Amuabuachi, who was the Director General for Logistics at the Ghana Armed Forces, and then Lieutenant Colonel A.K. Awuni, who was the Deputy Director Lance at the Ghana Armed Forces. So the verdict was given at that meeting by the Minister, Honorable Kweku Asumachi Menden, that government has decided to release those parcels of land to the La people. The very place where we went today was not even in dispute because it was not part of what the army had even wanted to acquire. So there was not supposed to be a dispute over that. So our chiefs were supposed to go and sign an MOU with the ministry on that issue after it was resolved. Which ministry? The Lands, Lands ministry. ministry on the issue after it has been resolved that the land is for you. So there was supposed to be an MOU just for understanding. They were on the 4th of December, they were on their way when they were recalled. But they were called and told that they should hold on and that some government officials who were supposed to be involved, including the minister, were on the campaign trail, so they should hold on. But we realized that some people had gone there developing and they claimed that they were working uh, under the consent of the Ghana Armed Forces. So we went to our traditional authorities and they said, no, this cannot happen. We wrote a letter under the auspices of the traditional council to the lands ministry and inform them that because of that, we are going to take possession. And they gave us the green light. Unfortunately, we had discussed with our chief. So today was the day we said to go. We had gone there with our thank you banners and the keep off signposts to possess the land. We entered, nothing happened. We've been there for about one hour. And then all of a sudden, the military came in and then they asked us to vacate the place. So we told them, and this was what some of their leadership at who the came point, there Sorry said. to jump in. At the point where you realized, you said that the, a committee was set up to yes, decide. Please. The committee decided that the lands be given back to you. Did, when you, you, you there, there was a certain level of dispute, you said that there was, a, the, the military um, seemed to have disputed that. Did you go, get back to the ministry? You, you said you went, you went back to the ministry. Did you get back to the military, the Ghana Armed Forces? No, they did not dispute. All we saw was that there were these Chinese people working on the land. Hmm. That's what we saw. Did you, have you contacted the people, the military, or uh, the representative from the Ghana Armed Forces who were part of the committee set up to deal with the issue? In fact, they are at Ghana Forces, and after the verdict was given by the minister that, okay, this is what we have come to, and that the land should go to La. Everybody agreed there at the round table, and then they all went off. So we thought that with that, there was no dispute again. There was nothing that should be done. I'm We're asking this because you're saying that in the dispute that you have, you, you, you've seen that the military uh, or the Ghana Armed Forces, personnel from the Ghana Armed Forces seem to be... Um, uh, they asked you to vacate 
the premise. Today, yes. And I'm asking whether you reached out to their representative on the committee that decided to release the land to you. Okay, because we were on the land, we actually mentioned to them that these were the people who were present and that we do not have access to them where we are. But they, as military personnel, are in the better position to contact them. So they, they should contact, contact them? them. And they refused to do that. All they told us, us was that they are taking instructions. So they asked us to vacate. We said, we also take instructions from our traditional authorities. And because of that, we are not going to vacate until traditional authorities have told us to leave the place. We're talking about traditional authorities, let me bring you in. Ni Amwa uh, Okrumansa, um, you are a chair, chairperson for the coalition? Yeah. Okay. Well, to what extent has the traditional leadership engaged with the Ghana Armed Forces to make the release of the land to you? smoother than what we're seeing right now. All right, um, let me um, first thank the viewers and thank you for having me on this platform. I must really say that um, the La Traditional Council um, have been in a very good position with the military all this while. There has been peaceful coexistence. It is also very important and instructive to state that we have had series of engagement and one of the traditional authorities in the name of um, retired Major General Odote, Major General, who was once the uh, commander of the Ghana Armed Forces, is now the Jasini or the Jasiche, the Kimbika of uh, La. So I can tell you on authority that there has been these smooth operations between the La Traditional Council and the military. So have you brought him in in this particular instance? He's more than involved. In fact, during the Tripartite Committee meetings, he was fully represented on the part of the La Traditional Council. But the so most why are we important, seeing this confrontation? You see, the most important uh, thing I would want to point out is that um, almost every person in authority would want to have a piece of land in La, and the military is not in any um, exception. This is what I will tell you. If you've ever been to the land, you will realize that the military have an annexed a whole parcel. Where no, that is an allegation that no, I No, no, it is not an allegation. Hang on, hang on, I am hang telling on. you something emphatic. Okay, so that hold on, hold if on. If you could call hold on, hold on, what sir. is the name? Is hold on, hold on for me. No, protest? hello, hello, mm -hmm. sir, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me make this clear. Yeah. First of all, we don't have the military or the Ghana Armed Forces here. Yeah. But on this platform, we create equal opportunities for people to express their views, which is what we are doing, which is why we, you, are, you are here today. It is fair. If we had the Ghana Armed Forces here, for them to state their side, that would be fair. But we don't have them. And so I cannot allow you to make certain allegations that I it cannot... It is not an allegation. Hold on. It you is an saying, emphatic statement. Are, okay, hold on. Do you have the proof for it? Of course, I'm telling you. The okay. moment you get there, you will see the structure that has been erected in the name of military. Okay, so fair enough. If he had come here with such evidence then it would be very easy for me to say, okay, fair enough. This is the evidence that shows that there is this um, property or there is this facility here. But right now, it is just what you're saying. Do you get my point? And because so I don't have So can I the, give you another emphatic So, so let, me land, let me land. You know about the military Let, let me land. Let me land. So once we do not have them here to respond, we will stick to the... And if it is, a, if it is, a, if it is an opinion, you have to state it as such. You understand but if it is something you're saying that so and so has done has seen it is here then we need to see evidence do you get my point so the point you're making is that there are interests right as far as this land and this area is concerned please go ahead and wrap up your comments thank you very much i was saying that there are parcels of land that the military have annexed i was expecting you for me to land so after landing you could even pinpoint that oh this one you could not substantiate the military cemetery mm -hmm. It's one of these uh, parcels of land that the military have annexed, and they have um, uh, strategically placed it there in the midst of um, our development so that we would not be able to cross to other parts of the land. When and you say one, they have annexed, did, yes, did you course. give it, it to them? To Is them it part all. of the they, arrangement for them to have? There was no arrangement whatsoever. I can even take you back to 2008, somewhere 2000, 2009, when um, the former Deputy Attorney General do, uh, Dominic Dr. Dominic Akutiringa Ayine uh -huh. wrote to the military that if you want to pro um, um, go through the proper you know, Procedures. acquisition process, please do, but do not use any brutal means to acquire the land. So he, he wrote to them emphatically, telling them that stay off the land. How did that land end? In fact, at that moment, it went very well. They stayed off the land until I, a, another time came when they had to go to the land by force. And then they went in the name of creating a buffer. And still, you could not create buffer without the traditional authorities' involvement. This matter landed in the court. There were issues around these 
uh, you know, legal gymnastics here and there, where at the end of the day, there was injunction of the liberty, but they still went on to construct a wall. Did you go back to the courts? If the courts decided that some, a certain decision be taken, did you go back to the court to let them know that someone has, uh, uh, you know, acted in contempt of what they said? That is a very beautiful question. With all due respect, you know the country in which we are. The country in which we are, the power that rules is the one with muzzle. It could be the financial muzzle, it could be political muzzle, it could be a, a military muzzle. That is exactly what is happening, and that is why we are here. So and that is the more again? reason, yes, of course, and that is the more reason we are telling you today that a whole minister who is acting in the name of the president of Ghana said that we have had meetings. You have brought your side of the issue. We have also brought our side of the issue. And Lands Commission had come in, military, this parcel of land does not belong to you. You were only given 27.3 acres initially for your Gifford camp. In fact, you were supposed to pay 20 pounds yearly. From 1953 to 1963, you have not paid anything. And to me, or my opinion is that it makes you even a bad tenant. But that notwithstanding, there was this airport acquisition and so on and so forth. And because of the Gifford camp that was created today, that is why we have a Burma camp. You understand? Mm. So ideally, I'm telling you on authority, as a traditional authority, that the military does not even have any iota of land whatsoever. Even I, if it belongs to, even if it belongs to government. Are you the government? No. Now the government in the name of the minister has said that, henceforth, this is the judgment. Stay off these lands. And yet, you are still meeting out to us brutalities. So, which is why I came back to the point asking you whether or not you went back to court. And you said you did, but then you talked about, you know, the theories about muscles, which is fine. But the key point is, did you go back to court? Yes, of course. We are still in and court. Said that, and said that someone is acting in contempt of your ruling. Yes, what of course. What did the court say? The matter is still pending. The matter is still pending. It's still pending. And, All right. And, so, uh -huh. so, so since it's pending in, in court, I guess I will just leave it at that. What do you think it will take to deal with this issue and make you or you, I mean, both parties move forward? What do you think it will take? The most important thing is exactly what we did today. For a very long time, we have abstained from the land because we were waiting for um, the government as in the, as in the way of in the capacity of the minister to come in and they stepped in in the right direction, stay off the land. We also did the same. So having done so, there was a need for us to possess it peacefully. And today, your people witnessed, the media people witnessed that we were very peaceful. And the good thing about this whole thing was that, look at it, look at the picture. There was no you know, heckling here and there, no tension whatsoever. But at the end of the day, you saw what happened. What we can do at this moment is that, we need to be at the back uh, stop of. Um, we need to be at the backstop of the president of the republic, since he is the commander in chief of the Ghana. Army are you forces. petitioning the presidency? We 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 are petitioning the uh, uh, government or the president right from here. I see. What what, what thoughts? What what uh, final words do you want to add to this as we move? Okay, on? thank you very much. Uh, I think we have made our point clear, and everybody today has seen that it is the military who has tried to behave in an awkward way, which is not actually in line with the rule of law. People have come peacefully to possess their land, and they came in with military men. There are some of the things, if we want to talk about, when orders are being given to bring in the troops and then clear them off the land. I mean, it sounded so weird that in a democratic dispensation, military people, in fact, somebody actually said that if you misbehave, we are going to shoot. So I started telling the person, look, we have heard about stray bullets from the security personnel, and sometimes they come and tell us stray bullets, but we know some of them are intentional. So when you start saying things like this, we can now deduce that then most of those things... I mean, I get that you're expressing your feelings from what happened today yeah. when you went, when you went uh, to the land. Yeah. But again, like you're saying, they told you, yeah. and you are reporting, we don't have the Ghana Armed Forces here Thank to respond All right. on their part. We've been trying to you know, reach out to them, but you know, it's very difficult to get, to get them to, to respond. But you're, you've indicated that going forward, you're petitioning the presidency. You're, you're, you say you're starting that from today. Yes. Um, the point is that, so at the end of the day, our traditional authorities came in. Mm. Um, thankfully, our Mankralo, uh, our Mankralo came there, Ni Oboda died the fourth, the Shikiteli, Ni Ajay Kofi, uh, the fourth. They both came there, and then they had engagements with the military. The military okay. initially wanted them to come and meet with the CDS. But when you look at the hierarchy of things, you realize that the minister, who actually gave out the verdict is higher than the CDS, okay? So the most important thing would be to go back 
through the ministry instead of going to the CDS. Mm, at so, this point, we don't have a minister. We don't have a substantive Yes, minister. we are talking about when there is a minister in So in you are place. waiting for... We are waiting. Yeah, okay. However, however, a delegation would be sent from LA to go and meet the military yeah, high command and then talk to them. In the interim, our authorities have told them that they are going to ask their boys to leave the land. Okay. But in order to forestall any occurrence, they shouldn't also allow any developer they have authorized to go to the land okay. until this matter is stretched out. So that's how you saw you, that is you exactly you what happened. dealt with this issue today. And our, and, and our, our uh, expectation is that the military will respect that part of the agreement we've had. Okay. If they fail to respect it, I think the people will still go there and want to possess the land if they realize that somebody is becoming a threat to what belongs to them. I'm, I'm excited to hear that the traditional leadership, your traditional leadership is planning to meet with the hierarchy of the Ghana Armed Forces. I, I believe that that will work. And also you have a case that's still pending in court. Hopefully you're able to solve this amicably. But like I said, uh, we've been trying to reach out to the Ghana Armed Forces for their side of this particular story. Um, we haven't been successful, but this is their story from what happened today and from the videos that you've seen of what um, ensued today uh, on that particular parcel of land. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming. I wish you all the best with this situation. Jeffrey Tete is the secretary and the spokesperson for the Coalition of La uh, Association. And um, Ni, Ni Amwa. Ni Amwa Okromasa the first. I don't know why I keep mixing up your name. Uh, uh, is a chairman and also in charge of correspondence with the Coalition of La Associations. There, uh, talking about this, um, was it 250 uh, acres? Yes, please. Yeah, uh, well, we're just getting the, uh, a bit of information here that the military men on the ground, yeah, the military men on the ground, on the ground declined comments on the matter and they referred the news team to the Public Relations Department of the Ghana Armed Forces. And we've made contact with uh, Keno Agwe uh, Kwashi, who is director of the department. He said that they will investigate and respond to the queries by tomorrow. So hopefully um, by tomorrow, we will be um, getting a response on this. Me, me, me. Um, uh, Have well, you already thanked me? Well, there is something there I wanted you to say. Very well. We'll, we'll, do, we'll deal with that later. But thank you very much for coming.